Good morning. If you are visiting today, we are thankful you are here. Please make sure to stop by the welcome desk in the lobby so we can meet you and present you with a gift welcoming you to Westgate. We will spend the next hour or so in worship singing songs of praise to God, reading from the Bible, speaking to our Creator in prayer, listening to a message inspired by God's Word, and reflecting on the sacrifice Jesus made for us during a time of communion together as we use juice and bread to symbolize the blood and body of Christ. Be sure to scan the QR code on the inside cover of the bulletin to submit connection cards and prayer requests and to find other pertinent information about Westgate. It is a great day to worship our God, and we are so glad you are here. There will be a greeter and security meeting this morning in the gym immediately after the morning service. We are asking everyone who signed up to help with greeters, welcome desk, ushers, or security to be a part of this meeting. Lunch will be provided. Our annual 40 Days of Prayer will begin March 1st. Prayer guides are available on the information wall in the foyer. We encourage everyone to plan on joining us in this church-wide time of refocus, dedication, and prayer that will lead us into Easter. There will be a church-wide spring cleaning workday on Saturday, March 11th. We will have activities inside and outside the building so everyone will be able to help. There is a sign-up sheet at Sign Up Central in the lobby for needed items. Bob was a software programmer earning six figures. He received sterling reviews and was considered the best developer in his company. During a security audit, however, the company discovered Bob spent all day, every day, surfing the internet until submitting his end-of-day reports to his bosses before leaving at five. Management was stumped as to how he could do such good work while wasting so much time until his secret was discovered. It turns out Bob outsourced all his work to China without anyone in the company knowing. In 2 Corinthians, it tells us we are therefore Christ's ambassadors, as though God were making His appeal through us. What goes through your mind when you think about the lost around you? Do you assume someone else will tell them about Jesus? Do you tell yourself they've already heard about Him and don't want to be bothered? Or do you say they wouldn't be interested anyway? These are all lies Satan wants you to believe. Our job is not to shirk our responsibility of being a witness for Jesus. It is to joyfully tell others what God has done for us. And that is a job too important to outsource to others. Let's worship God together. <laughs> 